Your most watched, most trusted news with certified first alert weather. This is WITN News at Sunrise. Good morning. Thank you so much for waking up with us on the first day back to school for kiddos here in the east. And they got a pretty good day in terms of weather to go back on. Two it. weeks off. Two uh, weeks uh, off. Right. So, yeah, a little bit of a tough go. Uh, <laughs> Uh, later today, I'll get you guys set for that. All the details coming up in just a bit. All right. Thank you so much, Jim. You got it. One person was trapped in his pickup and had to be rescued after an accident with a tractor trailer that sent both vehicles down an embankment in Pitt County. The Red Oak Community Rural Fire Department says the accident happened around 4 yesterday at mile marker 123 on the Highway 11 bypass. Traffic was shut down in the southbound lane for more than an hour. We're still waiting for more information from Highway Patrol on how the accident happened and if there are any injuries. Stick with us as details unfold. Firefighters in one county dealt with their second fire within days, not far from each other. Firefighters were out yesterday afternoon on Pine Lane in Beaufort County battling the blaze that ended up destroying a work barn. The owner of the building says it sits on the back of his property. He says he used it as a workshop where he made duck decoys. He says he left the building and turned everything off, but the building was engulfed in flames about an hour later. An investigation is underway, but according to the Clark's Neck Chief Brian Dixon, the call originally came in for a grass fire. After one firefighter got to the scene, they saw a small building was on fire and called in other crews. Just this past Saturday, a house fire not far from this one in the Rosedale subdivision killed three dogs. The emergency management director says it was started by a stove and several items that were nearby. A teenager is charged with murder in connection to the deadly New Year's Day shooting in Greenville. 18 year old Savion Moore was booked yesterday morning on a charge of murder, assault with a deadly weapon, serious injury and discharging a weapon in an occupied property. He's being held on a $750,000 bond. The shooting happened in the Copper Beach apartment complex around four Sunday morning. That's where they found 32 year old Deshaun Roundtree dead from a gunshot wound. 21 year old Kiara Boomer was also shot, but her injuries were not life threatening. Investigators believe an argument inside the apartment led to the shooting. We talked to neighbors who heard the commotion. Loved ones of Deshaun Roundtree, who was killed, describe him as an intelligent person who loved to sing and dance and someone who never met a stranger. New information has emerged on the murder of an elderly Greenville woman. The body of Barbara Fenner was found Thursday in her Contentnia Street home by police after relatives became concerned after not hearing from her since Christmas Eve. Tuesday, police say there were no signs of forced entry into her home but would still not release how the 79 year old woman was killed. However, they did say there were obvious signs of foul play. If you have information in this case, you're asked to call police or Crime Stoppers. Both those numbers can be found on our website, WITN.com. Police are investigating after a shooting in one Eastern Carolina town injured a teenager. The community of Wallace is shaken up by the shooting that happened in the 400 block of East Cliff Street. Wallace Police Chief James Creighton said that the 16 year old was shot and two other people were injured in a fight. Police said their injuries appear to be non life threatening. The chief said one person involved ran from the scene and hid under a nearby trailer where the owner of another resident held them at gunpoint until officers arrived. Police say four people are in custody and the shooting appears to be between acquaintances and not random. And deputies in one Eastern Carolina County say they have solved a rash of car break ins. Edgecombe County deputies have charged Rodney Leonard with eight counts of felony breaking and entering, three counts of attempted breaking and entering of a motor vehicle, and three counts of larceny of a motor vehicle, among other charges. Deputies say they have received numerous reports of a vehicle break ins over the last several months in the West Edgecombe community. They were able to identify him as a suspect using surveillance video and they searched his Rocky Mount home Friday. He was arrested and he's being held on a hundred thousand dollar bond. The time now is 605 this morning. Let's get out to the patio with Jim who's checking out weather for us. Jim, is there freeze potential on there behind you? 